Hi Gabby! Today's a Saturday and we're going to do a science experiment! Hola! In today's science experiment, we are going to try to make a cloud. Isn't that right, Gabby? Yes. Alright, first of all, some materials. A funnel, safety matches, a container of warm water, exactly 100 milliliters, and an empty plastic bottle about a liter or so in volume. Let's do this. First, we put the funnel on top of the bottle, like so. Pour the hot wa warm water. And then, we will pour the warm water inside the bottle. It'll be amazing! That's science for you. Science! And then, Get a match. Kids, don't play with matches. Don't play with fire. It's only for grown-ups. Because grown-ups like to play with fire. Light it up. Put it out. All right. Then tightly close the bottle. Tightly. 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 Tight. Tightly. Tight like a tiger. Alrighty then. Now we squeeze both sides of the bottle hard. And we need to do this three to four times. Go ahead, Gabby. Harder! Harder! Hey, let, let go like every three times. Wait, wait, wait a few seconds and then squeeze the bottle again. This time, hold it for much longer. Then release it. Yeah. All right. Hold it again. Then release. See that? You see that? There are clouds forming right on top of the bottle. Can you see that? It's very hard to see in front of the camera. That's right there. And that is science. Take it away, Gabby. Now for this part of our presentation, Gabby will now discuss and answer some questions in this Science 6 STEM at home, making clouds in a bottle activity. Yes. Parang si Master Chief. Dun sa, ano, yung boyfriend ni Maya. Ituloy mo, ituloy mo, Maya. How is evaporation related in this activity? Evaporation is related in this activity because the water evaporates and becomes clouds. It, the water evaporates, becomes clouds when it condenses in the top part of the bottle. Now, the smoke actually attaches to the water vapor creating a dark or misty kind of cloud at the top of the bottle. And that is science for you. Science. Science. Awesome. So, what do we think will happen if we don't squeeze a bottle after putting its cap on? What do you think will happen? There will be no clouds forming in it. I think so too. 
So real life application, so how does pollution affect cloud formation? Well, basically, when there's pollution in the air and there's water vapor, we get dirty clouds, basically like a dark, dark, dark nasty clouds, you know, clouds that just get very sticky and nasty and foul. And when it precipitates into rain, it will be like polluted rain. Isn't that correct? That's fair. Alrighty then. So that's the end of our Science 6 STEM at home. Making clouds in a bottle. Goodbye. Mahal kita, Maya.